Hi everyone, this is Carlo and today I'm on a mission. I'm going to Liverpool Street because Italy just opened. I literally can't wait. I will give you my honest review and I want to give you some tips about what you can buy, about the quality of products. We will talk about good Italian food. Italy London is the latest addition to the chain dedicated to Italian cuisine and gastronomic tradition, founded in Turin by Oscar Fagnetti in 2007. With the vision that food unites us all, at Italy London you can experience authentic Italian dishes, shop ingredients and also learn about food, wine and culture, thanks to classes, demonstrations and special events. On the ground floor you can explore a wide range of counters and eateries, offering pasta, bakery goods, cakes and ice cream. And you can indulge in drinks and aperitifs at the bar pretty much from the morning. I booked a table at La Terrazza, a restaurant in partnership with Apro, and I had a really lovely meal. I've ordered the bruschetta with datterini tomatoes and for my main I went for tonarelli cacio e pepe to honor my Roman roots. The first floor is where you can find more restaurants, there's three of them in total, and where you can shop the incredible selection of more than 5,000 products, fresh and preserved. There's a section for organic greens and vegetables, a fishmonger, cheese and meat counters, and so many aisles with assorted products. The wine section is really impressive. If you once tried a specific wine in a particular region of Italy, you can find it again here for sure. After doing some shopping, I ended my visit at the main coffee bar, having a cappuccino and a cannolo siciliano, one of my favorite desserts ever. Okay, so now it's time for my honest review and don't forget to stay until the end so you don't miss my tips and suggestions about what to buy at Italy London. Let's start talking about the meal that I had at the restaurant La Terrazza. The quality of the food was superb. There's a beautiful menu with a really good choice of dishes. I chose simple dishes because it's usually where you can tell the difference in quality with a smaller margin of razzle-dazzle of extra ingredients that they can put in. And also because Italian cuisine is quite simple. The more you complicate it, adding extra elements or replacing items, the less authentic it becomes. My bruschetta was done with a beautiful rustico sourdough bread that you can also buy inside at the bakery counter. And the yellow and red datterini tomatoes on the top. Oh my god, I was loving my life. So nice, sweet and tasty, complemented really well by the fruity olive oil, super fragrant and those little leaves of basil, that's how you do it. My pasta cacio e pepe was another 10 across the board. Tonnarelli is a kind of square long pasta, halfway between spaghetti, linguine and bucatini and it was perfectly al dente. Cacio e pepe means cheese, in this case pecorino cheese and black pepper, simple as that. But behind this simplicity there's a real craft in trying to create the emulsion, that creamy sauce that brings these two elements together. And to be honest, this dish was really really well prepared. The service was impeccable, the waiters were all smiley, attentive and really really lovely. So yeah, I definitely recommend you to dine at the La Terrazza restaurant. And again, the menu has so many beautiful choices, so try different things, share a plate with friends, and remember that Italian food is not only spaghetti bolognese. Snap out of it! Assortment and selection. You will see when you visit Italy, it's huge. We're talking about more than 5,000 different products. In Italy we have 20 regions, each of them with their own history and tradition. And I have to say that each of them is appropriately represented here. Authenticity. I was scared about this. Because, you know, when you have to market a cuisine and a tradition to a foreign country, the risk is always ending up changing things to make it more appealing or simply easier to understand and to digest for people that haven't grown up experiencing them. 
When I first cooked a carbonara to my non-Italian friends, they were surprised that I was actually using eggs, like we in Italy do, and I wasn't using cream. So I understand how easy it is to get accustomed to a fake idea of a foreign cuisine if we have never experienced the authentic version of it. I'm moving my hands a lot today. You can tell that I'm talking about Italy. I was happy to find that at Italy London the authenticity was very well preserved. The recipes seem to all follow and respect the tradition. Price. Hmm. Let's start stating the obvious. Quality comes with price. The quality of product that you find at Italy is excellent, so you cannot expect to have Poundland prices. That said, Italy is a bit pricey. You have to consider that after the Brexit shit show, the cost of importing goods has gone up insanely. That had to be expected. Bear in mind, I say it's pricely mainly because I have in mind the cost that these products will have in my own country, where a cappuccino and a croissant will cost you €2.50 compared to the £4 that you pay in Starbucks. The prices for dining at restaurants at Italy are perfectly aligned with medium high quality restaurants in London. So if you are used to going out in London and have a meal out, you will not find it overly expensive. But for some products, I really couldn't find a justification for the high price. For example, my beloved cannolo siciliano that was six pounds. It was delicious, but Jesus Christ. So, we've come to my tips and suggestions about what to buy at Italy London if you still want to prepare an Italian-inspired menu but you don't want to break the bank. Number one, bread and bakery goods. Preparing a nice bread basket is cheap, easy and it really sets the mood for a meal. At the bakery counter on the ground floor you can buy a piece of focaccia to slice and that beautiful rustico sourdough bread that I've tried earlier. You can even grill this one a bit. On the first floor you can find Taralli Pugliesi. They are savory crackers from Puglia with rosemary or chili. They are not expensive and they really go well with wine. Talking of bread, you must also buy friselle. They are a great summer alternative to bruschetta. You soften them with a sprinkle of water and you dress them with tomatoes, olive oil, salt and pepper and basil. Thank me later. <laughs> Next, regional varieties of pasta. On the first floor there are shelves and shelves of regional pasta that you can't find normally in British supermarkets. Trenete and trofie are great for pesto, but you should also try orecchiette, simply tossed with broccoli, olive oil, garlic and pecorino cheese, and a bit of chili. And you can also buy some other special formats, flavoured with truffle, spinach, squid ink, affordable price and your guests will love them. Also, buy on the first floor jars of pasta sauce. We're not talking about supermarket sauces full of sugar, bad quality oil. At Italy you can find genuine, authentic regional products. Buying a jar of sauce for less than £5, you can prepare two servings of pasta that is restaurant quality. Other products in a jar that I recommend you to buy are olive pate, artichoke dips, red pepper cream, as Italians, we have the ritual of aperitivo, which is having a drink and pre-dinner nipples with friends. You can make incredible instant canapes or a tasty bruschetta, simply buying some of these good quality products to spread on grilled bread. Cheese-wise, I suggest you to buy buffalo mozzarella and burrata. These are two of the best fresh and creamy cheeses that we have in Italy. I bought this buffalo mozzarella for £5, it's big enough to serve two. And burrata is also under £3. You simply lay them on a bed of rocket and tomatoes, you drizzle them with olive oil and they're just f***ing sexy. <clears throat> yeah. Mm. Last but not least, I just mentioned it, invest in a very good bottle of extra virgin olive oil. You can find great ones from Tuscany, Puglia, Sicily, big bottles for under £10. It's an investment that will really elevate your cuisine. Trust an Italian. <laughs> That's it for today. I hope you liked my honest review of Italy London and my tips and suggestions. Feel free to let me know in the comments about your experience if you have been. And in the meantime, I'm gonna go and devour my buffalo mozzarella. Take care and see you soon. I know you were waiting for this. I 
べてはね。